Stephen Moffat is stepping down from Doctor Who. Hmm. Wait a second. No season of Doctor Who episodes for all the 2016? No! Make it stop. Wait a second. Don't make it stop. Microphone on my big camera freaking squeaks, and that's really annoying. I have the road video mic, and on that mic specifically are these little bands that connect it so it doesn't make any noise when it wobbles around. One of my bands broke, or they're just so old that they start squeaking. So we're about to go in Home Depot, and I'm about to find some some alternatives to those rubber bands. That doesn't work. This week I want to talk about being a photographer. No wait, I want to talk about being a filmmaker and how I am not a photographer. You don't know how often it is that I walk down the street with my camera and people are always kind of taking like, hey man, why don't you take my picture? The truth is I don't take pictures. I take video. I, I do films, you know. It's kind of jarring because I never actually learned how to be a photographer, but it's just kind of weird because when you're doing filmmaking, you're actually doing a lot of photography. So, I mean, there are some photography concepts, some photography techniques that I use, uh, composition, lighting. Oh, God, okay. I don't consider myself a photographer, and this is why. Number one, I do not have the patience to be a photographer. Some points in time when you're gonna have to go ahead and, you know, go out to a location and find out what it is that you gotta shoot, and then just kinda wait for the perfect time to do it. I don't wanna wait. I kinda wanna just make it happen. That's just me. The second reason I do not consider myself a photographer is, it's all about storytelling to me. Whereas in photography, you're taking the still shots and you're trying to tell a story through that one still shot. In filmmaking, I'm trying to tell a story sequentially. So this shot here is going to kind of reference or it's going to associate itself with the next shot. So for instance, if a dude is looking over to that way, what is that? My left, right, your right, that way. And the next shot that I put up is like... I don't know, a picture of a farmland, you know, you know, what, what is the perception of that compared to if I had the same shot I did do looking that way and the picture was of a cow and then maybe a bun and then you probably think that he was hungry and, you know, see, that's where the story lies and that's what I'm thinking of whenever I'm thinking of making these films. I'm thinking of what sequentially is going to happen. How am I going to tell the story in a way that's going to make sense, in a way that viewers can perceive it to be... I'm basically... Mm, wow, this is really hard to, to, to explain. Communication is key when I'm doing this. So I'm not thinking about it in terms of one... Well, I'm not thinking in terms of one shot, even though that would be really nice to do. I'm thinking in terms of multiple shots and multiple and sequences. Sequences shots sequences scenes movie okay and now the third reason i do not consider myself a photographer is i there okay so i've talked to a lot of photographers and a lot, a lot of what they like to do is to put to make sure that everything's done within the camera i don't do that i kind of just want to make sure that i get a nice image in the camera but it doesn't have to be perfect you know and usually i keep mine at, at a uh what do you call it? A uh, neutral profile? On all these Canon ones, you have a neutral profile, and then I go ahead and I color grade it later in the editing software. And that's that's the thing. When I'm doing shots that are sequential, I kind of want to make sure that whole sequence kind of blends together, or else I'm just going to have shots that have different exposures, different focuses, and it's just it it doesn't blend. It doesn't mesh well for a sequence. 
And of course, those sequins have to be able to mesh well with the whole movie, too. And I guess that's just the only thing that's been bugging me lately. Everyone wants me to take their pictures, but it's like, I, I am the wrong person to ask to take pictures. I don't know how to, I don't know how to take photos. Although, as a filmmaker, I am kind of, I don't really need to know anything about composition. That's what I hire DPs for. DPs are directors of photography. Um, but I do kind of study it. I do have several books. You no, know, I, I do have books that I kind of read just to brush up on it. It is upgrading my skill, but it's not absolutely necessary. In filmmaking, it's mainly the gist and how everything kind of comes together. That's, am I getting am I getting way too technical about this? I don't mean to get too technical about this. Let's get back to the vlog. Getting older, you sure do have to stretch a lot. Let's go. All right, so I just want to make a quick note. For the last couple of weeks, it's been raining hardcore, and I'm just glad the sun's out. Now, I'm not a golfer, although I do plan to get into that very soon. Do golfers usually go golfing at 7 o'clock in the morning? Morning. Hello. Hello. My phone died when I was running, so I didn't even really get to film my whole run. But I think this is getting really old because when I first got it, Compared to now, it used to keep a whole charge regardless of what, what, what I was doing, doing video, taking pictures, but now it died after less than an hour. That is garbage. Now I gotta invest in a battery backup and probably something that'll keep this charge. I don't know. But when I plug it in, right now it's at 1%. I don't know if you can see that. That's 1%. When I plug it in, it'll start saying 10%. Let me try it. Okay, close enough. It says 8% now. What the? F you know, I realized after watching this, this week was really boring. I had the intention of actually doing a lot this week. It's supposed to be a lot more interesting. It didn't really turn out that way. On Wednesday, I pretty much was in bed most of the day because my tooth started hurting. I did go to the dentist though, but they were closed. So I, I ended up chasing around some turkeys. Yeah, I really, I really didn't do anything. Next week, I swear, it'll get a little bit more interesting. Cause it's gonna be, I mean, as I do this vlog, it's kind of like I'm changing the format, but it's also kind of helping me to do things that I, that I would just have put aside, you know, which actually helps me out because now I'll actually get stuff done that's been in my head. I guess having this kind of just gives me a reason to commit to myself. That's always a good thing. I'm just going to end it here. I'll see you next week. I swear there'll be something better next week. Bye. from me.